commonly known as the Chechen, the metopian brown eye can cause injuries in the skin like this. The poisonous characteristic of this tree is the sap, which turns black when in contact with air. The chemical agent that makes it poisonous is called urushol. Urushol is a chemical mixture with an alcohol side chain at the seed tree position. We can find urushol in poison ivy too. The tree is called Chechen or Bochechen in the Maya regions. The tree has a straight trunk, flicky bark, between top and dark brown of a color. The sap turns black when exposed to air. Spiral leaves, odd peanut leaves which are compounded by five to seven opposite folioles, and reddish orange fruits. This tree is distributed in the humid tropics. In Mexico, it can be found in the states of Tamaulipas, Tabasco, Veracruz, and the Yucatan Peninsula. It can also be found in Central America and the Antillas. The reaction to this poisonous chemical agent is not immediate. According to an assessment of injuries of 20 people who came in contact with the metopian brown eye, the injuries develop within two days of contact with the tree. It can cause extreme blisterings of the skin. This is an example of the injuries by metopian brown eye. So, if you are walking in the jungle or on vacation and accidentally come in contact with the sap of the Chechen, reaction to this toxin will develop within two days. Unfortunately, if your clothes have any residue of this sap, anyone who comes in contact with infected clothes, let's say they hug you, would also manifest this reaction. Fortunately, there is always a cure. The Chaka, scientific name is Borsella Semarva, and local people who know the area are aware that where there is a Chechen tree, there is usually a Chaka tree nearby. The sap of the Chaka can act as an antidote to the Chechen poison. Here I will add a link where I talk of the Borsella Semarva and its medicinal properties. Here is facts about the Chechen. 1. The tree belongs to the Anacardiaceae family, same as the delicious cashews and poison ivy. 2. It's an exotic wood. The color of its wood and hair wood is beautiful. Its height and strike trunk make it exotic and attractive wood. So beautiful that it is for elaborate furniture, carpentry and decks. Which is why exploitation of this wood must be regulated and cared for and done sustainably. 3. A tree with a legend. There are major legends about the origins of these trees. In Majan culture, there is a legend that these trees were brothers. It's curious that when there is such a chan tree, always there is such a cut tree. Like most legends, there are many versions. The most common story says that Chechen and Chaka were brothers, with very different behaviors. They fell in love with the same woman and would get to war against each other. When they die, they were punished by the gods and brought back to life as trees, always close to each other but without the ability to move away. Many people would argue that these trees are a natural representation of yin and yang. That's it for today. I invite you to watch the other video about the medicinal chaka and its properties. Thank you very much for coming this far. Um, see you in the next video. Bye!